हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे ऑन आर बिहाफ ऑफ सीसीटीवी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सीएमएस नेम्ड एज प्राइजर लाइव फॉर पीसी अ प्राइजर प्राइजर लाइव फॉर विंडोज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू दैट व्हाट इज प्राइजर लाइव फॉर पीसी व्हाट आर इट्स फीचर एंड फंक्शन what are its minimum system requirement and then tell you that how you get the file how you install the file and after success, uh, and after that how you configure the software to make the camera live so that you are able to access all the feature that we are discussing in this video so keep watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one please press the bell icon to get all the notifications upcoming notifications so what is preser live for pc so basically it is a cms and you all know that cms is a software which is used to connect as well as control the cctv cameras on pc this is a software program for mon for monitoring the cctv cameras on desktop it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet and prizer cctv camera is accessible by employing the general cms software provided by the company this app helps to user connect and control their video surveillance system on their windows os and now let us discuss about the feature and functions so you can view you can you you have a live view of the camera by using the software you can see the multiple channel at a time you can watch the recording of the cameras to take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera means you are able to pan tilt and zoom you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc to take a backup of the recorded videos you control the quality of the video recording and many more but let's discuss about its minimum system requirements and you should have had at least windows 7 8 10 or 11 but i don't recommend using windows 7 because this is discontinued by microsoft you should have at least 4 gb of ram and have 500 minimum space on your hard drive and core i5 or equivalent processor in other companies why it is 500 mb of hard space because when you install the software it don't take much space but when you see the live cameras you may want to record you may want to take the snapshot so for that you should have at least 4 gb of for 500 mb of hard drive now we'll tell you that how you get the file how you install the file how you configure the software after successful installation and so to make the camera live so keep watching and let us start our practical part so first thing you should do you should open the chrome browser or any browser and search for prizer live for pc and press enter here you find the top of the list one of the my favorite website is there when you open the link it will redirect you to a website or the post and scroll it till you find the download button so just click on this it will redirect to our next page where we have to wait for 10 second and after that it will your download file is enabled now it is enabled just click on the this button once you click on the button it will automatically start downloading let the download to be to be finished after that we'll tell you that how you install the file and how you 
configure the software just after once, once the download is completed just click on this arrow just click on show in folder when you click on show in folder it will it will redirect to your down, download page or download of download folder and here is, is, is your software or installing so what do you do next just right click on the downloaded file and try to extract when you extract you get the same folder name with and file name just open the folder name here you find the CMS application file or installer file dot exe file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator now click yes now here you find a many uh, option but in my case I am using English so it is already selected now click next again click next again click next and now click next and again next now it is start stalling and please wait for a few minutes once it is successful installed you get the successful notifications now it is installed here you get the insertion successful now click finish now when you click finish it asks for you again the language so in my case i am using english so i just select english and click ok when i click ok it, it asks me a username password so here is password is blank just click on the login Now you could wait for a few minutes here to get the interface of the software. And this is the interface of software. After that you should click on the system and then click on the device manager. And after that you should click I delete this. again delete so first thing you should do make an area so for this just click anything like a1 is my area 1 and and the most important thing that we should keep in mind that when you click on this area then you find that this device option is enabled so again let's see when you click on the area then this is the add device option is enabled so for this i make an area and after that just click on add device when you click on add device you find many options like ip search ip v6 search add device and many so when your camera when your device and your laptop connect to same network then you should click for ip search click that you should again and click on IP search when you click on IP search if your device is and if your PC and your device is on the same network then it is shown on the network like in my case okay so you simply just click on this all the details fill here here you should enter the password please note that this is the password for the device means the device you are adding whether it is DVR, NVR, whether, whether it is IP cam and after that just click on OK when you click on OK again click on OK and here you find that your, your device is here just click just double click on the device and after that click on the cam and here your cam camera is like just double click it and you get the successful connection and a connect successful message in the, at the bottom so hope you understand that how you install if you have if you if your device and your pc can run on the same network now again go to the system option and device manager and just i am just deleting this device by, by using the cloud id so just go to the system and again go to device manager and just click on this and click on delete now it is deleted so again click on add device so when you click on add device and your laptop and your uh, and your device is not connected on the same network you want to add remotely then you should click on here cloud 
when you click on click, click on cloud here you should enter the cloud id and here is your user adam user name of the device and here is the here you should enter the password of the device and click okay then you should able you are able to connect by using cloud id and if you want connect by using local ip or um, static ip manually then what you should what should you do here you should enter your device ip address and here please enter your device port number port number is you find you you can find port number of the device in the network option and here it asks for username please note that this is the username of the device and again this is the password of the device I mean device you are adding and now click ok when you click ok again you find that this just double click on any cam here you find that the camera is live so this is the way by manually adding or by using cloud id or by using static ip so hope you understand thanks for watching please like share our video and subscribe our channel thank you have a nice day